Hello everyone and welcome to my channel to Sage the Queen One. As you already know, it's February and I cannot um, let February pass without saying something on Black History Month. And uh, by me saying that, I'm going to tell y'all a story about the High John the Conqueror route. This is it right here. Okay. And with this route, you can do several things with this. Several things. If you don't believe me, you can, after this video, Google it or check out another YouTube channel and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. You can do many different rituals and some other stuff, okay? But we ain't going to go in detail on that. But it's a story behind the High John the Conqueror roots. All right. Um, High John the Conqueror. He used to be real real big over in Africa according to the story now I'm not for sure so don't quote me on this uh, on this part but he used to either be a prince or a king one or the other and during the slavery time he was captured and brought to America and when he came to America the slave owner could not tame him he could not tame him at all he could not get him to say yes ma'am or no sir for nothing and so the slave master had some friends to come over and said, I have a slave. I cannot get him to say yes, ma'am, or no, sir, for nothing. So they didn't believe him. So, of course, they went out in the field. He was picking cotton. So when he was picking cotton, um, the slave master asked him, he said, Hi, John, did you pick the cotton like I told you? He said, and the cherries, too. He said, well, did you paint the porch? He said, and the roof, too. So each time he asked him a question, he answered him back without saying yes, ma'am, or no, sir. And so some kind of way, moving along in the story, some kind of way, he tricked the master into letting him free. And once he got free, he went back to Africa. And when he went back to Africa, before he died, all his powers that he used when he was in slavery, he put it inside a root. And by carrying this root, if you are a gambler, it helps you with luck. And also, like, if you have something at court and you want to win a case or something major in court, I know it sounds crazy, but they have another a high John root that you can chew and you spit it out. And you spit it out somewhere in the courtroom and it's guaranteed for you to, like, win your case or whatever you're doing in court. But anyways, like I said, don't take my word for it. You Google this stuff up yourself and you find out and you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyways, that's the story on the High John route, okay? Now, I want to talk about something. I had one of my friends to ask me, why are you not a hugger? And so that never like really crossed my mind until I actually had to think about that. Like, okay, as you already know, I'm an empath, okay? And empaths, like I told y'all once before, we feel other people's emotions and we're very uh, sensitive, very sensitive. Not as in, like, I'm going to punk you out sensitive, but, like, we're sensitive to energies and vibes and stuff like that. Okay, so, like, whenever a person wants to approach me to give me a hug, like, if I'm feeling their energy and I feel like it's not good or I'm getting, like, a strange feeling from this person, like, very weird and awkward, no, I'm not coming in for no hug, no. And, um... So, like I said, whenever I hug a person, like, say, for instance, if you're sad, as soon as I hug you and I feel like your emotions, whatever, it comes on me, and I don't want that. So, out of respect or whatever, I don't be like, oh, don't hug me, don't touch me. No, I'm not like that. I say it as nice as I can. I'm not a hugger, but hey, or something like that. But, like I said, I, I don't think I'm better than anybody or nothing like that. It's just, I'm not a hugger. Simple as that. But yes, that never really crossed my mind until one of my friends had asked me that. But if your energy is good and I feel like your vibes are good and all that kind of stuff, then of course I'll come in for the hug sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. It just all depends on what day you catch me. But like I said, if I'm feeling your energy, your vibes, and it's not good, you can hang that up because it's not going to happen. But uh, yes, again, I want to thank everybody that are tune in to my channel and that are subscribed to my channel I truly appreciate it before this year ends before this year ends I want to at least have um, 800 new subscribers before this year ends I might even have more okay I might even have more 
but I'm asking at least 800 subscribers and I'm the type of person where whenever I put my mind to something I actually do it and like I don't give up I'm like I, I'm like a, the energizer buddy I just keep going and going and going because I'm very passionate about what I do and when I'm passionate about something I do I become like very hard on myself sometimes until I get to where I'm going okay but um yes um if you are ready like I said or a subscriber tell others about my channel okay let them you know know about my channel I just want to just help everybody and I would just want to help motivate people and Hopefully there's something that you have never heard before or never knew before that I'm telling you on your on this channel and you're like, wow, whoa, okay. Or let me look this up. Let me see what she said about this and let me check this out or something like that, you know. But my channel mainly is for like good, good vibes, good energy, just positivity, okay. No bad stuff, no negative stuff, no... No trying to make you feel down or depressed, none of that stuff. I'm trying to uplift you, okay? That is my main goal and my main purpose on my channel, okay? Until next time, for all my subscribers, for the ones that I already know, and for the ones that don't know, peace, love, and always good-ass energy.